What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I want to talk about some things that I do and don't like about the game. We've had a couple updates. The game's been out for several weeks now and I just kind of want to talk about some things that I'm liking and not liking about the game. Some things I want to see change. So let's get right into it. One that's not a huge deal to me because there's tons of content in the game but I know it's a big deal to some people out there is the daily challenge and the daily hard missions being taken down again. That has happened a couple times already with this game. It happened several times with the Division 1. I know they have their reasons and they have to fix things, so I'd rather them fix them than just leave them broken. But I know a lot of people look forward to getting on playing those daily hards and daily challenging missions with their friends, so hopefully those will get back up soon. Uh, the other thing that I really have an issue with personally, and this was a little bit of an issue to begin with, it only happened a couple times, but it is some of the glitches and bugs that have kind of come with the new title base and update, and the main one is getting stuck on something like you're in cover, you're getting stuck on it, then you're kind of froze there. You have to either nade yourself and sometimes you come back and you're still stuck there. You have to log out. It just can be kind of a pain when it happens very often. And it's just kind of annoying some of the bugs and glitches. But I do understand when you put out a new update, things may not always work right. And that goes with any game, no matter what the game is. Usually when updates come out, some things have to be reworked that were working properly before. I'm no game creator, so I'm not going to, you know, knock anybody that, that creates this game or makes this game for that. I understand that's a hard job, and as long as they get these things fixed relatively quickly, I'm okay with that. Uh, some things that I wish they would look at, I don't have the new sniper rifle, of course, but the new LMG and the gear sets are kind of disappointing to me. Now, this LMG I know is made for PvP, but to me, I wish they would make everything in the game viable in either PvP and PvE. This is the first time I've really been in the dark zone much here in this video. I'm not a big Dark Zone player. I prefer PvE mainly, and that's what I'm going to play 99% of the time. But with the LMG, it's not really a viable weapon in PvE, so hopefully they will look at some things and, and kind of fix everything to where it works in both scenarios, and also the new gear sets. Some of you out there may like those gear sets. I'm not a big fan of them. I was looking forward to a little bit more with these. And as, as it kind of goes right now, I'm not really enjoying them, but of course I'm still kind of messing with some different things, some different builds with these gear sets. So hopefully, and you never know, something may change and I may find something that I really enjoy with them. Um, and that kind of goes for the game in general. I know some people are liking it, some people are loving it, some people don't like it, and that's kind of how video games go in just kind of overall. Not everybody's going to like the same game, like the same thing. But as a whole, I think The Division 2 has done a, a pretty good job so far of giving, a, giving the kind of community what they want especially with all these events. Uh, you, we kind of have that roadmap of what the upcoming events are going to be. We have this new apparel event, which I think was a good idea, and we have an idea of what's going to go on for the next year. And I think back to something like Destiny. That was one issue I had with Destiny personally, was it felt like there was some dead time, some very much of a lull at, at times where there was months of nothing going on. So if a looter shooter keeps things rolling just month in and month out, new content, I think that's a great idea. And hopefully they will sneak some kind of uh, secret events in there that nobody knows about that's not on that yearly calendar and that we'll get some things that are kind of just pop up and that, that we did not know about that'll be fun to do because I think that's what keeps people logging in every day. Anyway guys, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so and I'll catch you next time. Peace.